Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll tell you how to do uh, how to print a multiplication table of any number in the C language. I'm doing this video in the English language. If you'll be uh, if you want me to do it in the Hindi language, then please let me know in the comment section. I'll do the same in the Hindi language too. And I have also given my WhatsApp number in the description. Uh, you can also message me there for any help or for any query i'll surely help you okay but please let me know that uh, should i do further videos in the hindi or in english language only okay so let us start i'll start from the uh, basic structure of c guys i saw many videos on the youtube and what i found that many people are doing the same by using uh, while loop by using do while loop some are entering into the concept of uh, functions i don't know why they are making other people confused i'll do this in the very simpler way okay so firstly i'll declare an integer that will be int num why i declared it see int num this num will be the number whose table we want we are going to print okay so print f print f enter the number whose table you want to print okay enter the number whose table you want to print then i'll use scanf function now what scanf will be going to do that it will take input from the user so i'll use percentage d while uh, y percentage d because the number will be integer only we are going to print the number of an integer okay so percentage d will specify that it will be integer only so percentage d m percent num what this m percent is going to do it will simply means assign the address to this number for example we are entering 5 then that 5 will be assigned to this integer means now this int num will be 5 okay so now we will uh, use for loop in the for loop what we will use that uh, will simply do int i is equal to num why this see there are two type of operators in c okay number one is assignment operator this one is assignment operator and other one is is equal to means comparison operator this simply means is equal to okay in the c language but this doesn't mean is equal to this is assignment operator what will what it does that it assigns the right value to the left means now num has been assigned to i now num is no more than num now it is i only okay now uh, num will be counted as i from this step okay so int i is equal to num now i should be less than equal to what see what will be going to do that the table should not exceed into 10 suppose i am printing the table of 5 okay so it will be 5 into 9 is equal to 45 and then 5 into 10 is equal to 50 but it should not go up to 5 into 11 is equal to 55 means it should not exceed 5 into 10 okay so what we'll do that will assign a new integer okay that will be int mult okay that mult will be uh, int mult will be num into 10 why i did this see that i should not be uh, greater than this uh, into 10 means 5 into 10 okay so i simply applied the condition that i should always be less than or equal to mult means it should be less than 5 into 10 means it should be 5 into 9 but it should not exceed 5 into 10 okay now see what is the meaning of a table uh, suppose i am doing the same 5 into uh, 1 is equal to 5 and then 5 into 2 is equal to 10 then 5 into 3 
is equal to 15 see what actually is happening that every time 5 is getting added up see 5 then 5 plus 5 10 then 10 plus 5 15 means what actually the multiplication table is the number gets added every time okay so in the uh, so same will be done here see every time suppose we are uh, printing the table of 6 then every time 6 will be added now there are two type of uh, operate three three or four types of operator in the C number one this one this is increment operator number two this one this is decrement operator number three I'll tell you only this one okay other one is other one in next video number three plus is equal to five or plus is equal to six what it will do that see number one increment operator will increase the number by one every time suppose firstly it is five then after using this operator it will become six it will this is decrement operator it will decrease the number by one it is increment operator by the assigned number okay what it will do that every time it will increase the number by six suppose firstly it was five then after using this one operator it will become six uh, sorry five plus six is equal to eleven okay so we'll do same here as in table the number gets added every time so we'll do same now i will every time become i plus equal to num by num see we are printing the table of five suppose then every time five should be added so we are doing the same in the i every time five should be added what the i is i is actually the output i is actually the output okay so see now this one is num this one is output what is this what is this man what is this uh, one two three from where we'll get this okay so please wait i'll tell you see uh, we'll simply use here a, uh, a, a one more operator one more integer sorry that will be increased every time suppose first time it was zero then it will become one another time it will become two another time it will become three okay so firstly we'll assign that integer okay we'll assign that integer int increase okay now this increase will be increased every time by one this increase will be increased every time by one no issue we'll increase it suppose uh, what i did this sorry suppose firstly we're using zero then it will become one then two then three so it should be zero now first okay then only one will add to zero and become one okay now other thing we completed up to here now print f print f the table will be the table will be see what i'm going to do do here see percentage d percentage d is equal to percentage d now you'll be saying what he is doing okay i'll tell you i'll tell you please wait see what first percentage d is it is the number that we entered initially here when scanf function was asking the input from us from the user so it is this only means it is num okay so first one is num first one is num next thing after num what's this percentage d is this is uh, this one one two so you remember this is increase okay this is increase that is getting increased every every time by one no problem increase see we'll do it respectively means first one is percentage d what's that is that is num so first we'll write num okay uh, int increase sorry increase then after that what end thing is what means what's this one percentage d is see i is assigned num sorry num is assigned i 
okay means first time it was 5 only and the uh, another time it will be always less than mult means it will be always less than 5 into 10 is equal to 50 usse to kam hi hai na okay then what is the next thing see this one condition this i is getting every time added by 5 means num so it will be uh, uh, getting added means first time it will be 5 then 10 then 15 so see the working of for loop here first it was assigned 5 then it checked uh, then another condition was checked that ki wo 5 into 10 se to kam hai na yes it was checked that it, it is less than 5 into 10 then another time next time that 5 will be added to i means i is actually the output means i is this this is i always okay this is i always so what is this one this is i yes so we will specify it okay that now uh, we did it okay please don't go anywhere now i'll tell you two three things more okay uh, here i used to uh, i forgot to use this okay now um, what we'll do return zero and end it okay see my uh, visual code is also showing that there's no error in the program so let us see the output enter the number whose table you want to print i want to print the table of 5 okay now see the table will be 5 into 1 is equal to 5 table will be see now you you will be saying what is this it looks very weird it looks very ugly it means you can say the writing is very bad okay so now we are going to do three things more number one we'll give this output give this uh, sorry input in the next line we want to give this input in the next line and also we want to uh, delete it the table will be the table will be okay and third thing is we want to print 5 into 1 is equal to 5 5 into 2 is equal to 10 in next line okay we are going to do three things okay number one uh, the input should be next line so we will simply use here backslash n number two the table will be should be deleted okay so we are going to delete okay but not actually going to delete we will uh, write it on the uh, upper side before the for loop okay because that will be printed very first after that the for loop will start working okay so uh, print f print f uh, the table will be no problem the table will be my compiler my visual code is very smart it tells very fast that is there any error or not okay so it is just like my friend and uh, print as the table will be now one more thing the table will be deleted now this table should be in next line means firstly 5 into 1 is equal to 5 in first line then another 5 into 2 is equal to 10 in next line so we'll use backslash n here too now let us see is there any error or not or is it's now perfect okay so first we will delete previous output and see the new okay it is asking enter the table whose table you want to print so i'll write 11 okay 11 into 1 is equal to 11 11 2 is equal to 22 11 to 3 is equal to 33 see now it is looking very big and see 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 please see it carefully it has not exceeded 11 into 11 11 into 10 it is only up to 11 into 10 it has not reached the 11 into 11 okay so it is the beauty of our program it is the beauty of our c language so thank you guys i hope you understood it please subscribe and like my video okay bye